Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best settings and how you can optimize Grey Zone Warfare for best FPS possible. So make sure to stick around till the end. Do leave your PC specs down in the comments below. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, step number one is the essential window settings. And for that, you have to open up settings on your PC. Once you're here, go all the way down to gaming, go over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and disabling so will help you to get better FPS. Then go back to gaming, go over to game mode and make sure to turn this thing on. I have tried this multiple times and game mode turned on will give you better FPS by far. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Simply open this thing up. And once you're here, click on change default graphic settings and enable both of these options that is hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games. Both of them will help you to reduce your input latency and utilize your GPU for rendering the games. Right after that, go back to graphics and over here, click on this browse button. And once you're here, you have to go to the location where you have downloaded this game. So for me, it is right over here. Simply go in this, then open up GZW. And once you're here, you can go into binaries, Win64, and right here, you'll find GZW client steam, Win64 shipping.exe. Simply click on add. Once it is added over here, simply go over to options, select high performance, and then click on save. Then close your settings. Step number two is the best compatibility settings. And for that, you have to open up Steam, right click on your game, go over to manage, then click on browse local files. Once you're here, go to GZW, binaries, Win64, and then you'll find the shipping.exe right over here. Right click on that, go over to properties, and then go to compatibility. Right over here, select disable full screen optimizations, click on change high DPI scaling behavior, and select this option, click on application, OK, and then apply. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable, and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin, as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark. Mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Step number 3 is disabling unwanted startup applications. And this is super simple, press Ctrl Shift and Escape all together on your PC and the task manager will pop open in front of you. Simply go to the startup apps section and then over here deselect all of the applications that you do not require since the boot of your PC. It will help you to reduce your last BIOS time, that is the time taken by your PC to boot up. And it will also ensure that less number of applications and processes are running in the background since the boot of your PC, so you can always go into games with less processes in the background and less resource being consumed. Next step is disabling unwanted services and it is very essential. Press Windows and R together and then type in MS config. And once system configuration opens in front of you, go over to services, click on hide all Microsoft services and this will hide all necessary services over there. In this list, you have to find out the services that you do not really use. Some of these will be update services for Adobe, browsers, and screen recording services that you do not use frequently. It could be printer services, so kindly identify those services and simply uncheck in front of it and apply. It will make sure that those services are not running. But make sure to know what you are doing because some of these services such as VGC is required for playing games and some anti-cheat just like this one that are required to play games and disabling them will mess up the launch of your game. Next step is fixing all of your internet issues using exit lag. Exit lag is pro's choice to get rid of your packet loss, ping issues, latency, input delay and so much more. Simply download it from the link in the description below. Once the application opens up, you have to make sure that this is turned on and right over here you have to type in the game name that is Grey Zone Warfare and you can see it is added in this list. Simply save the nearest region to you that will be Singapore 01 for me and it will show you the estimated ping right over here. 
simply click on apply routes and this will make sure that your internet is flowing straight from your PC to the game servers without any hindrance and it will help you to fix all of your packet loss, ping issues, latency and so much more. The best part about exit lag is the tools section right over here which offers you dedicated FPS boost where you can enable the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, third, last and last option and it will help you to increase your in-game FPS as well. Once again, if you go check out exit lag from my link in the description below, you can get a two plus one month free on your first subscription. So make sure to go check it out. It's definitely worth it. Next step is creating a restore point and this is very essential. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC, then look for your local disk C, click on create and name it GZW so you can remember it from. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Now you have to download the Grey Zone Warfare FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply join my Discord server as well for a detailed downloading tutorial. Now in here you'll find in six simple folders. First one is the CPU priority and in here I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. Now, if you have an AMD CPU like me, you can simply double click and run the AMD CPU priority. However, if you have an Intel CPU, you can run the Intel CPU priority. Next is the most important folder that is the Grey Zone Warfare priority in which I have left above normal, high and normal priority. The normal priority is the default one, but to choose among this one, leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to pick right over here. Then go to the third folder, which is RAM optimization. And once again, I have left a ton of presets over here, which you can choose wisely according to your PC. Once again, I have 32 GB RAM so I need to use this one. However, I have also left a reset to default just in case you want to revert them back to normal. Fourth is also an important folder which is the batch file and it will help you to fix your input latency as well as increase your FPS. First one will disable high precision event timer which is responsible for input latency. And what it does is it basically runs these commands automatically so you do not have to manually do it. And similarly, this one will run for disabling memory compression and this one will do it for disabling mitigations. All of them will help you to increase your FPS. Next is the unwanted services and this is completely optional. If you guys want to disable all of them for better performance, you can always do it. And once again, you have to simply double click to run them. And if you want to revert them, you can always do it from this folder. Last is the programs folder in which I have left MSI mode utility v3. Simply right click and run this as administrator. Once it opens up, simply click on the MSI button in front of your GPU and then set the interrupt priority to high and then simply click on apply. Once that is done, close your FPS pack and now hop into the game for best in-game settings. Okay, once you open up your game, go over to the settings gear right over here and then go over to projects. Now, make sure to play on full screen and FOV should be the highest. Scroll all the way down to the quality settings and then over here you'll find global illumination, set the sync to low, shadow quality low, texture resolution high, effects quality low, reflection quality low, foliage quality low, post processing low, motion blur none, colorblind mode off. Then in the advanced section you'll find anti-aliasing upscaling method. Now I currently use FSR on ultra performance as it gives me the best performance possible but you guys can always go on FSR quality as it will also give you good performance. Then NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, I prefer it on plus boost as it works best for me but you can put on on. Also make sure that the Fidelity FX frame generation is set to on. Once that is done, simply click on apply changes. So guys that was it for this video, I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button as it really helps me out. Also, we are rolling channel membership on the channel so if you are not a member yet, make sure to get the membership because it really helps me out as well. And we'll see you in another amazing video, until then stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.